Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today in this week's video, I am going to do uh, install a Outback pannier rack system on Sumo uh, KTM 790 Adventure R. The Outback uh, rack system uh, comes in several different configurations. Uh, one of them's asymmetrical, one symmetrical. I opted for the asymmetrical one, which means the uh, non side to the muffler system will be closer to the bike and uh, this side will be out to clear the muffler system. The installation process I think is going to be a fairly uh, straightforward process here. Um, on the upper side here you have a bolt, uh, you have a bolt there, and then down below here uh, you have a third bolt and so just three bolts put the rack system on each side of the bike. Now because I've removed my uh, passenger foot pegs, I'm going to have to put a spacer in there. But I'm going to go ahead and get the other two bolts in and that will allow me to find out uh, what length of spacer I need to uh, put in there and uh, either get that made or find something at the hardware that will work for me. To start this project off, you have to remove this farthest back screw here. And uh, I've been on a trek to try and find stainless steel hardware and I was unable to do so uh, for the uh, metric bolts. And they have a uh, spacer that's threaded that goes inside, uh, inside of here uh, that's also metric. Uh, but Roy and I, for the support of the other Rotopax mount that I did that sat here on the rack back here, um, I've already got a threaded nut that uh, fits in there snugly. So I went and got a stainless steel bolt uh, that will work for that. And then down here, I was unable to find any spacers uh, that will fit underneath here in lieu of the uh, passenger uh, foot pegs. Uh, so I'm just going to use a set of stacked washers here to create the uh, spacer that I need. Now I wanted to mention to you here, uh, now that I have all the bolts snugged up and the uh, racks are installed uh, with the cross piece here in the back on, uh, but what I do is because a motorcycle vibrates so much, I blew Loctite everything, but I also did some extras. Uh, the kit only comes with like a flat washer. And what I did is I Loctited the bolts along with an internal tooth lock washer. So the locking mechanism is redundant for vibration. So you have the uh, Loctite, which should uh, help the bolt from vibrating loose and the inner truth uh, uh, locking washer. And so I have a flat washer, the locking washer, and then the bolt head. And I did that uh, for all of them except, uh, well actually I did all, I did all of the bolts uh, with an internal lock washer and I'll show you uh, here. Up here, uh, this one has a flat washer, an internal locking washer, Loctite. Uh, this one the same. Uh, down here, uh, this was a uh, hex head bolt down here, but it's got a flat washer and a locking washer with Loctite on it. And you can see I used four uh, washers here to create the spacer I needed uh, since I'm not using the foot pegs, and that just seemed to work out just perfect for that. On the back here, there's two uh, sets of bolts uh, on each side uh, to lock in this uh, cross member here. Now there weren't any instructions with the kit and so I double checked online uh, and uh, I didn't see their official instructions mentioning this but on the 2.0 version uh, this uh, cross member piece here uh, angles up. You can put it reverse than that but it does angle up according to their instructions online. So these bolts here have a flat washer on the outside on the back side, they have a flat washer, uh, internal tooth locking washer, and then a nylon nut. So this is triple redundant on locking that cross piece. Here's a view of the back of the bike, and you can see the uh, asymmetry on the back here. This is closer to the bike, and this one sticks out a little bit further to accommodate the muffler. 
Uh, you can get them so they're symmetrical and this one sticks out. Uh, some people might do that if they want to put some type of uh, box on the back side of that for uh, tools or something else uh, that uh, may be a good way to go. Um, I just chose to do it this way. It uh, keeps it uh, tighter to the center if I can. And uh, hopefully that'll make life a little bit easier for me. It also drops all the weight that I was carrying up top here in bags across the top and all the weight of the liquids that I had back up here. It, uh, by moving the uh, rotopax to the front and low down and moving my uh, luggage racks down, it uh, greatly uh, lowers my uh, center of gravity for the bike. So hopefully that'll make it uh, easier and safer to ride. Well, as you can see, the sun's setting low here. The project actually went really quick. It didn't take long to do it. Uh, but I spent the afternoon doing some other uh, chores and looking for some stainless steel hardware. Well, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give it the big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care.